Warren motherfucking Buffett. What up, nigga? Oh, nigga, stop beating around the bush. How much you need? Two billion? I'm giving you eight. And don't pay me back, nigga. You good. All right, my nigga. Sound scan say he ain't so shit. The magnificent was all fucked up. <laughs> Target. Allah, make my testicles strong against the boot of the infidel. Where is the target? My gonads are indestructible. My penis shaft is strong like the oak tree. No. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Okay, look, maybe I was being stubborn. Let's try and talk this out. Wait, remember, the target is... Woodcast! I got everything I need for this whole operation right here. I got my secret plans and maps. Only problem is it's so thin, so light. It can fall out my pocket and I don't even know the shit happened. And did you know the screen was so indestructible? It could stop a speeding bullet. Shit can't stop no damn bullet. It's an iPhone, not the iSpy phone. I remember when these shits first came out, man. Bitches would be coming up to you like, let me see that iPhone. Let me play with it. Let me stick it up my ass. Put it in my mouth. Suck on it. Then one day, you know, I got tired of all these questions, you know what I'm saying? I let the girl stick the iPhone up her butt. <laughs> Took the doctors 12 hours to get it out. And you know what? It was still working. Nuts. I still hear their screams. Oh, oh, oh. My nuts. Yep, that's what the iPhone say. Will you just please make the fucking call? I ain't got no goddamn bars. Green Dad, I know you're not going to believe me, but I think they're government agents that are coming to... Shh. Boy, I don't have time for your crazy bullcrap. I don't like to be bothered with my real housewives of Compton is on. Oh, no, she did Yeah, Yes, she did. Ed, we got Jet. Show me over yet. Now, Ed. We got some shit we gotta take care of. Super secret type shit. Ed, come on. Okay, fellas. Well, give your granddaddy my best. Oh, and uh, I'd stay away from downtown for, for quite a while. Ed. You should only be going uptown. Ed. U P T O W N. Ed. If you knew who I was, then you would know what I'm going to do with you if you don't tell me what I need to know. Maybe, but I don't know who you are. Do you know what kind of damage a steel boot can do to prepubescent testicles? How would I know that? Tell me where the target is before I kick you in the nuts. Do you want me to kick you in the nuts? No. Do you want me to kick you in the nuts? No. Do you want me to- Wait, Jack. I do not want you to kick him in the nuts. What? You have my word. Excuse me, everyone. Can I have your attention? I'm afraid we have to abort the mission to arrest Ed the Third and his grandfather. What? What about the bomb? Sorry, Jack. Turns out some people are above the law. The Wunslers will not pay for what they did today. You have my word. Good work, everyone. Have a good weekend. And oh, uh, no going rogue. I got the tequila. He's got the song. I'm going rogue. Huey, you've got to get to Wunsler Plaza and try to get as many people out of there before it blows. A second ago, you were going to kick me in the nuts. Huey, please, I'm just doing my job. It's a crappy job, but somebody's got to kick people in the nuts. And sometimes you kick the wrong person in the nuts, and that's tragic. But now we can both make sure it's the right set of nuts that get kicked. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wow. Go ahead, Steve. Mm -hmm. These are hard times. Americans need inspiration. People want real life to be like in the movies. With good guys and bad guys and black guys. All that shit. That damn Stucky Jack. He's a cocksucker, a waste of functioning organs. But dead? He would have been a national hero, and all he had to do was die. But why? Don't you have enough money? No. Man, this chicken gonna be off the chain. I can't wait. I can't wait. Mm, I'm gonna get some chicken. I can't wait. So you kids don't know how lucky you have it. All my life, we only had 11 herbs and spices. This is a whole... No way! No damn way! Hell no! What is it? These talking about they out of chicken. What? Listen, listen. Welcome to Colonel's Fried Chicken. Unfortunately, we are out of chicken at the moment. Please go <gasps> wait until we have more chicken. Thank you. God bless. They ran out of chicken? Aw, oh, man. This is some old bull No chicken? You mean I ain't gonna be able to get that bucket? How can they be out of chicken? It's Colonel's Fried 
chicken! This is outrageous! This is an outrage! Hello? 911? No, I ain't calling a snitch. I got a real emergency. Yeah, I hope. Some of us have been looking forward to this day for a long, long time. Hello? My emergency? These fools done ran out of chicken. Welcome to Colonel's Fried Chicken. Unfortunately, I I can't. Don't let anyone else in the house, no matter what. Fine, agree. <laughs> Nothing we could do for them. They're goners. You is right. They on their own. They gonna die. To note, I'd like to start off by thanking all of you out there uh, who have called and written letters about the safety of the first family. You'll be happy to know that Michelle, Sasha, Malia, myself, and Bo are all fine. Don't nobody care about you, man. Tell us everything will be okay for us. Everything is going to be okay for us. We are currently in our very own super secret underground bunker with enough food and water and entertainment to last several lifetimes. But I'm here tonight to talk about you. In times of crisis, Americans pull together. And what's going to get us through this difficult time? Sharing. Sharing? Lending a helping hand to a neighbor in their hour of need. No a neighbor. What we need is a cure. Unfortunately, there is no cure for the pandemic we now face. But we do have an even more powerful weapon. Compassion for our fellow man. No compassion for our fellow man. In conclusion, I want to say that we are all in for some tough times ahead. And when I say we... I mean you, but Michelle, Sasha, Malia, myself, and Bo are going to be right here, rooting for you all the way. Good night, and God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. We all go to die. <laughs> huh? No. I insist, Mr. Freeman. Let us in at once. Let me try. Get the <laughs> home. Mr. Freeman. We are not leaving until you allow us in. That bitch must have lost her mind. We gotta do something. What should we do? It's in the plan. Hey, old woman, suck on dick. That's right, eat an old dick, old bitch. Yeah. Fall back. Now, Riley, there's no need to be homophobic. Eat it, you pussy punk bitches. The terrorists are using chemical Buffalo wings. Aw, oh, man. There was chicken in here all this time. Chicken? No, no, not chicken. Buffalo. You ain't just hear me say buffalo wings. You know what? When I tried one, I thought to myself, this tastes like chicken. But then the fact it was a buffalo, I was like, no, nah, I don't want to say that out loud. Y'all going to think I'm stupid. That's why I ain't getting no chicken. I just got the buffalo. Get out of here. Come on, oh, man. They know what you got. Come on, nigga. I think I'm sitting on <sighs> I'm okay. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh, I gotta go Can I get in? <sighs> Can I get a two-piece and a biscuit? And all the fries you can give me. Ugh. In his underwear and woke up in a chicken coop. Nigga, that was Friday. Damn, that was the best Cheerios I ever had in my life. That wasn't a regular Cheerios, was it? No, no, no. That, that, that had to be honey nut. Mm. It had to be honey nut. It tastes like honey nut. Tastes like Cheerio, but... Nuts dipped in honey. Mm-hmm. Mm You're a dick, Dick! Uh-oh. Sir, can you tell me why you're driving so slow in the fast lane? Oh, no reason. I guess I just wasn't in that much of a rush. I didn't know you can get a speeding ticket for going too slow. Uh, Officer Douche. That's Officer Douche. <laughs> something funny no sir officer <laughs> douche why were you driving so slow in the fast lane oh just having a pleasant drive on a nice <coughs> summer's eve douche <laughs> please step out of the car sir but what's more important weed or us weed Man, he didn't even think about it granddad you make weed look so uncool i don't think i'm ever gonna smoke yeah, I think I'm gonna go take a stroll around the block. Cause I can't. Want me to get you anything while I'm out, Granddad? <laughs> yeah, bring me a brand new belt with a big spike buckle so I can whoop your little smart behind. I'm out of the game. Fortunately, I don't blame myself. I blame all of you. I know many of you ladies are saying, no, Robin, you can't take that good loving away from us. Well, it's too late. It's gone forever. And so with no regrets, I hereby commit Facebook Harry Carry. Don't mess it up. Be calm. Take it slow. Mm-hmm. How date tonight, huh, brother? Yeah. It's like everything she says is perfect, but I'm taking it slow. Just getting to know each other. Mm-hmm. There you go. Good luck, brother. 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. All I have is a five. All right, I'll take that for now. But don't you think a five is a bit much? All you did was turn the water on and hand me a paper towel. I ain't even asked for it. You don't have to ask for that. It comes with the service, nigga. Just like the assortment of gums, mints, lotions, and hair care products. But I didn't use any of that stuff. I just had to pee. Now I'm happy to tip, but a five is too much. Too much? For setting a foot and a half away from piss and <laughs> and nasty ass farts from you <laughs> for six hours straight, nigga? Well, I shouldn't have to go to the ATM machine every time I want to use the <laughs> bathroom. Nigga, get your ass away from my commodes. <laughs> you. No, 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 you don't. No, no. Get your ass back here with my men. You lucky I ain't allowed to leave this bathroom, nigga. Wait, go change your clothes and mobile on. Why do I always have to cut the grass? I chew. I chew. I cannot stop sneezing. I chew. Riley's got allergies. You just mad because you didn't think of it first. Ow! That ain't hurt, punk. Hot! It was like I was doing this with the same caliber of women as Billy D himself. Moms was a big Billy D fan. In the day, we were going to see Empire Strikes Back. And at night, we had some serious, no hole bars, freaky dicky bad bad action. Woo! For real? You have to understand, this was in the day before AIDS. So there was no consequence whatsoever. That's so funny. Moms used to say the same thing. It was just like bang, 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 bang. I'm Big Tom, the business, baby. Keep sending them dumbass niggas to jail, big dude. They ham ass know they shouldn't have did that. Anyway, the hot water fix in the guest bathroom so you all good. The guests can drop a deuce, wash they booger hooks, get fresh, disinfect, no problem. Now I'm talking about popping your collar. I ain't come here to steal nothing from you, man. I just want to find my pops and tell him that I thank him for skeeting that life in the moms, man. I ain't I just want to tell him I love him very much and I respect him for everything he did, man. Get away from me. You can't be my son. You too ugly to be my son. Yeah. Whenever you want to holler at your boy, I'm right here, man, posted like a lamb. I love you, pops. I ain't never going to stop loving you. Come on, Pops, you know I ain't no thing. I'm here to help. So you need a person, uh, removed? Yes. You mean, like, removed from the earth? No, I mean, like, removed from the neighborhood. Oh, so you want him kidnapped? Well, kinda. Not really. Can't you just take him someplace really far away, like South America or Africa or something? Well, well, you realize that if you don't kill him, there's nothing preventing him from coming back to town. Well, if you took him really far away, maybe he won't have enough money to come back. I don't know. I just want him to go away from me. Okay, 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 okay. Back up. Who, who are we talking about? His name is Lando. Oh, Lando! Man, that is cold with that landscaping. What's your beef with him? He's a con man pretending to be my son. Oh. Probably, almost virtually, certainly not. He seemed cool to me. You know how some people you just like right off the bat. But yeah, I say kill him. Kill him? I don't want to kill him. All right, all right, all right. The only other choice might be to get one of them DNA tests to prove you ain't the father. Really? Where do you get one of those tests done? Oh, I know one place that do it for free. Man up! But my knee hurts. Get your ass up! What kind of man doesn't bother to see his kid for 30 years? 30 years! But, but, but I didn't know. You know what I want to do? I want to beat the living oh. out of you! Oh, easy now, big fella! That will not be easy on you! I hate you! You make me want to go! One you have to go! Before the show, you took a DNA test, and the results of the DNA test are Robert is... Robert, you are the father. You are the sack from which I come. You are the sack from... That's the, that's the pair that I came from. Look at them. Them the ones that I came from. I came out that tube right there. Good looking, man. Yes. How you feel now? Deadbeat? Huh? Wait, I didn't know. I... You finally gonna take responsibility, or are you gonna keep making excuses, you pussy punk bitch? Hey, nigga, don't call my daddy no pussy punk bitch. Look at him. He is a pussy punk bitch. I hate to say this, granddad, but you did look like a pussy punk bitch. It was a DNA test. We'll study next time. Fuck, this doesn't make you a horrible person. It's all your fault. You're a horrible Person! Oh, why me? Why did he do this to me? Shut the f up. I'm sick of this. But I think you should keep that option open. Matter of fact, Lando's outside doing some work on the shrubs. I call him in right now. Just let me know what you want to do, all right? Lando! What? L Lando's here? No, wait. Pops, what's going on? Uh, he wants to talk to you, mm -hmm. Lando. He wants to try mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. uh, work this out. Mm -hmm. Look, man, I'm sorry about what happened on that show. I mean, I ain't know that nigga Steve Wilkos was a dick like that. Mm -hmm. I swear okay. I don't need nothing from you, man. It's up a chance to be maybe a small part of your life, man. Oh, 
just a small. <coughs> Thank you, Rummy, man. I appreciate you giving up yourself to help sort this thing out. Ain't no sweat, partner. You know I'm in your counter. So what's it gonna be, Robert? Uh, option one or option two? Option one. Option one. Option one it is. No, 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 no. I said option one. Okay, well, which one was option one? What's option one? Getting to know each other. Yeah. You sure that was option one? Yes. Let's spend some time together as a family. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I always... Man, look, man, I swear, man, once you get to know a nigga, you'll find I ain't even that f***ed up. Did you show Robert? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure, too. Okay, then I done done my part. I just hope you boys take this as a lesson that life can really oh. suck sometimes. And you should always wear a condom. I got a condom on right now. <laughs> what up, roomies? Yeah, this my half of the room. And that, that's Huey's half of the room. Well, what my half at? Your half is right there. And just because you technically our uncle, you ain't ahead of me, nigga. As of right now, you the youngest brother. Got that? I'm number two, you number three. Got it? Two nigga, three nigga. Say, man, I promise, man, I'm going to respect your space, and I really, really appreciate, you know, just being here part of the fam, man. I've been part of this family my whole life. It's an overrated experience. All I could do was lick the ladies' feet after they was finished stepping on the grapes, and the bitches would just love it. I just... Look, I can't concentrate with your thing flapping around like that. Go put some clothes on. I'm not hungry no more. Yeah, I'm done. Hell, oh, come on, man. Why y'all tripping? Morning wood ain't nothing to be ashamed of. That's how you know you alive, man. I'm varsity, nigga. <sighs> nigga. Young oh. Barkley! <laughs> hey! That's a foul. Man, that ain't no foul, nigga. That's playoff basketball. Yeah, basketball, not football, bitch. Give me the ball. Man, just because you the two nigga don't mean you can treat me any kind of way, nigga. Huey, you gonna let him do me like this? It's family. I'm staying out of it. And no more drinking. Not at home. You setting a bad example for the boy. Why don't you understand me for a change? Why can't you accept me for who the f I am? You can't control my life. I hate you. I never want to see you again. I wish I was never your son. I'm sorry, Pops. I ain't even mean that shit, man. Just my anger got the best of me. And I'll do whatever you say, man, from here on out, man. I, I need that, you know? I, I need that discipline, that tough love, you know? Oh, don't, don't spare the rod on me. Matter of fact, man, I'm going upstairs and get ready for my ass whooping right now. Oh. Left side, nigga. Whatever. What you gonna do, nigga? Watch, watch your ass, watch your ass, nigga. Watch your ass, ah! nigga! Ooh. You all right? Yeah. Whew, glad that's over. I really dodged a bullet there. He wasn't a bad guy, though. I hope he does find his real daddy. Me. I wish I could be related to Billy D. Williams. He way cooler than you, granddad. Guess that's why he get all the bitches first. Boys, is a great day for yard work. Hold on, I just got out of the shower. There's some juice on the table. Mm-hmm, take your time. You want to explain to me what you're doing here? I came looking for booty. You came looking for sex with an underage boy? Oh, no, I, I ain't come looking for no little bars. I ain't got no milk, no cookies, nothing. I came looking for man's butt. A man's butt? Excuse me? Oh, I know who you are, Chris Hansen. But see, I, I calls you Chris Hansen. I watch your TV show all the time. So you can go ahead and bring in them cameras and them police is waiting outside. It don't make me no difference. Now, I tell you what, I like you, and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. Okay, I, I see you choosing the hard way. Uh, okay, Cot, this isn't working. Someone get this guy out. Uh, hey, don't make me ruin that bite. No, Chris, I'm no, a, please. I'm a warrior. Ah! Hey, 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 nigga. You got a nice little ass, nigga. Give me your ass, nigga. Nigga, you see me looking at you, nigga. Give me your ass, nigga. No, stay away. Hey, brown skin, turn again. Let me holler at you. Yes? Oh, you know about that? Tell me what you know about that. Tell me what you think about that. The prison industrial complex is a system situated at the intersection of government and private interests. It uses prisons as a solution to social, political, and economic problems. It includes human rights violations, the death penalty, slave labor, policing, courts, the media, political prisoners, and the elimination of dissent. Nigga, did you just say what I was trying to say, but smarter? 
I like this little nigga. But you left one thing out, little nigga. Show of hands, how many people ever raped a man? Uh huh. How many people ever been raped by a man? All up, 100%. You can't get no higher than that, nook. You step in here, you get raped. Show him my stuff. Give that man everything I got. Pause. Pause? Pause what? You said something gay, so you gotta say no homo, or else you the homo. But what did I say gay? You said you was gonna give this dude everything you got, no homo. That's not gay. I said I was gonna give the man everything I got. Pause, granddad. If it sound gay, it's gay, and you gotta say no homo. How I know you not a homo, granddad, if you don't say no homo? I'm not saying no homo. Okay, you wanna be a homo. Stop calling your granddaddy a homo. Then say no homo. I don't wanna say no homo. I'm a homo your ass, you don't stop saying pause. Pause. Thank you for saying no homo, granddad. That really meant a lot to me. No homo. Pause. Pause again. Pause again, granddad. Pause again. Pause again. Pause again, granddad. Pause again, granddad. Right up the m brown eye, baby. I raked a few niggas myself. I ain't really enjoy it. Not that much. It felt good to the m though. I ain't let that nigga kiss me or nothing. But I did tear that ass up, nigga. I ain't gonna lie about it. But that's what the man's oppressive system did to me. Jesus, boy, look at you. All you do is lay around here and watch TV and eat my food and breathe my air. Just as lazy as you can be. Go out and do something. What am I supposed to do? I ain't got no money. Well, try getting up off your ass and cleaning up my living room. You lucky President Obama is not here to see this. You're lazy. You need a hobby or something. Give me an allowance and I'll find a good hobby. Allowance? I allow you to live here. I allow you to eat my food. I allow you to burn up my electricity. I mean a money allowance. Well, how about this? Trash is starting to stink, and guess what? You allowed to take it out. <laughs> I was a loser. I might as well have been dead. Hey, Mr. Freeman, would you like to buy some candy to help keep kids away from gangs and guns? Heck no. I'm a fan of gangs and guns. I got some gangs and guns inside right now. You want some? <laughs> Mr. Freeman. I love some candy. I'll take a whole box. Granddad. Shut the hell up. Mind your business. That's the worst idea you ever had in your entire life. You just mad you didn't think of it. You want to start a fuck, right? I seen all of them. That's how I know what to do. Okay. How many of them have a happy ending? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but see, that's how I know it's gonna work, right? Because I've seen all the mistakes they made, and I'm not gonna make them same mistakes. See, I'm gonna do everything the smart way. Riley, I'm gonna tell you everything that's about to happen if you do this, and how bad this is gonna end. First of uh, all... Stop right there! Every time I want to do something, you tell me what's gonna happen first. And then that's what happened. And you always ruin the endings and stuff, man. I'm sick of it. I want to be surprised this time. So no matter how bad it is, you don't want to hear it. Nope, because it's really bad. Hey, spoiler alert, nigga. Didn't you hear me? Keep it to yourself. That still kind of spoiled it, though. I like it. Sounds like, you know, some of that positive bullshit that people eat up. Since I came up with the idea, Jasmine and Phil had to provide the startup money for the business. This is your team. Who? Oh, I don't know, some skinny, big-headed bitch. Word? Come on. She wasn't like Jasmine or Phil. Cindy was a cheat. What you think you're doing here? You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Open your bag. Well, I just want to say I'm proud of you. Thanks, Granddad. You want to buy some candy? Hell no, you must be out of your damn mind. Now get that out of here. Pussy. For me? Oh, I can't believe it. Thank you, boy. Oh, you the best grandson ever. Way better than the other one. Oh, knackers. You always gotta spoil something, huh? Hey. I'm upset. When Liverpool beats Arsenal, I'm upset. But when some little shit decides to take over one of the most profitable territories in the country, I'm beyond fucking upset. I'm very fucking upset. So, from now on, you're under new management. You will work for me, and in return, you'll receive an allowance. Allowance? Yes, allowance. As in, I'm allowing you to keep 10%, and I'm allowing you to keep drawing breath on this earth. Now, you either get down, or you lay down. What's it gonna be, sunshine? Now me, I'm more of a romantic type. I'll still rape you, but I'll definitely stroke your head lovingly while I do it. See, because I want you to like it. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to like it, but I'll... Sorry, I was distracted by that fine right there. What's your name, fine 
I, What's uh, your name? don't think that's, um... Tom. Okay, now let's talk about Tom. Tom is the type of nigga that gives us wet dreams up in here. Makes my Medium brown, hot. soft features, tall and in shape, but still soft and squishy. This wasn't no movie. The smart thing was to say yes, get up, and leave the room. But then I thought to myself, what if this was a movie? Look, fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on, fuck them shoes, fuck those socks with the bell on it, fuck your gay ass fairy faggot accent, fuck them cheap ass cigars, fuck your yuck mouth teeth, fuck your hair piece, fuck your chocolate, fuck Guy Ritchie, fuck Prince William, fuck yeah. the Queen. This is America. My president is black and my Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Now, I like to put the jelly inside my ass. Then, put some of this peanut butter on top of it. I call it a peanut butter jelly and sandwich. But Tom here will be calling it lunch. I think this one spent so much time in the cinema. Teach this cheeky bastard a lesson. A casting call for the Sopranos reunion? Do me a favor. Tell room service nobody here ordered the extra large WAP with a side order of WAP. Whoa! Oh, boss! Jesus Christ, I thought he'd never shut up. So, you guys are probably wondering why we just kicked in the door and shot your boss here in the face. Well, to be honest, it's tough times out there. Nobody's spending on nothing. No drugs, no whores, no gambling, nothing. Except, apparently, chocolate bars. So, consider this a hostile takeover. We got a problem? No, absolutely not. No. Okay, have a nice day. Now get the fuck out of here. You know what the system does when you come to prison? They strip you. They strip you mentally, emotionally, and they strip you naked. Butt-ass naked. The f*** that you looking at, nigga? Yeah. Punch you right in your <laughs> temple, nigga. Bitches give me your ass. clothes. Ass. You're supposed to be scaring the kids. I said, give me your <laughs> clothes. Start with your shoes, nigga. Hurry up. Uh, you need some help? I got it. Uh, now you see this, kids? You really, really don't want this to happen to you, okay? And your shirt, too, nigga. Hurry up. Take it off. Okay, kids, y'all look it, huh? Tom just got his manhood test, and he failed. He should have knocked my head off. And you know what that means, don't you? Tom, you get raped. You might not be. We to watch you for when you go to prison, the most important thing in your life is going to be booty. Yeah, I better listen to A man's butt. Uh -huh. Booty, getting some booty, is more important than eating food. It's more important than drinking water. If I see a man I like, I tell him like this here. I like you. He like you. And I want you. Hey, he now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. What you want, Tom? What's it going to be? I ask you a question, Tom. I can't hear you, Tom. I don't want to answer. I, 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 excuse me, I didn't hear you, Tom. I said I, I don't want to answer. I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Sound like to me, you wanted the hard way. Get it, Tom. Calm down. Calm down. Now we're mm -hmm. taking over the prison. So back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> you can't have my booty. Oh. Said you do bad things. What kind of bad things do you do? I don't listen to my grandmother, and I hurt people, and I smoke with cigarettes. You smoke with cigarettes? Do I smoke with cigarettes? <laughs> Man, I be smoking with cigarettes all the time. Understand me? I understand. I understand. I promise. Good. Now I want you to sit there and think about how stupid you are. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> that ain't hurt. And I came into the kitchen, and I saw my kids were gone. And I thought, oh, I can't believe Granddad wouldn't let me do no interviews. LaMilton blowing up over this. I bet... LaMilton, where are you going? I went and drove to pick up my friend. And he smokes with cigarettes. I be safe. I'm gonna do what I want to do whenever, whatever. What? Shut the hell up before I come down there and beat you till you pee on yourself again. I do what I want to do. And lead a normal life, you know, get a job and a wife and change my ways. And I hope this apology impresses you, even though my grandmother made me do it and I don't really mean it. You mean you do mean it. I mean, I do mean it. I don't think he means it. Back to beat on his grandmother some more. LaMilton, did you hit your grandmother? 
Yeah, I beat her ass. But why? Because I asked for some fried chicken and she said no. What she expect? LaMilton's grandmother wants the public to give LaMilton another chance. Hey, boy, listen up. You know what, Granddad? I've been hanging out with LaMilton even though you told me not to, and I don't think I'm going to do that no more. I just need to go up to my room where I belong. No TV, no dinner, no nothing. I might even need to whoop myself. Good night, y'all. Well, you better not break my belt. And save us. Well, I wouldn't hold your breath. Yeah, I got a guy on the phone that says he's at Horton Prison. I, I don't know, I'll ask. Uh, sir, have they raped you yet? <laughs> have they raped? No! What kind of f***ed up question is that? <laughs> Hello? Hello. You have a collect call from a correctional facility from... <gasps> do you accept the call? Yes, yes. Honey! Oh, Tom, what's wrong? What do we do now? Ask him. It was his idea. Thought y'all had some kind of escape plan worked out or something. Well, no, escape plan. Uh, a booty is more important than escaping. So I said to myself, when I seen that shank, this is an opportunity for me to get some booty. But you had the man. Oh, I had the mans. I had the mans to get some booty. I thought this was supposed to be some Attica type Now how y'all think that make me feel? Y'all let the booty get away. Now I got to go hunt down the booty. Damn. Time! It's all my fault. I have to make it right. I love you, sweetie. Dom, no, please don't be brave. Bravery isn't your thing! I love you, sweetie! If I don't come back, tell Jasmine the time I... <laughs> For a period not to exceed 90 minutes time. Well, wait a damn minute. Who the is this executive riot committee? Us! Oh, yeah, right. Man, now y'all being too picky, man. A bitch is a bitch. Yo, man, that's look, what I'm saying. look, why can't y'all just shut the up and be happy with whatever bitch we get up in here. I guess you never heard the phrase, yes we can. It's my God-given right as an inmate to have a white bitch. That's not a God-given right for an inmate, or anyone else, really. Oh, well, I may not have a God-given right to white bitches, but I do have a God-given right to ask for white bitches. Hey, man, a nigga do yeah, got a point. Yeah, I guess. Right yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's right. Motion to add white bitches to the official list of the man. Everyone in favor? I think I'm telling you, they getting bitches in here. As soon as they get the bitches in here, I stop tapping you. <laughs> okay, so the list so far is bitches, white bitches, Asian bitches, Brazilian bitches, East Indian bitches, West Indian bitches, Ruckus. Puerto Rican bitches. Come on. <laughs> the mine belongs to me. for your heart. Uh, Don't drop the soap, uh, Carl. Uh, 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 I want that booty, Tom. You can't have my booty. Oh, yeah, I can. The booty is mine. It belongs to me. You cannot uh, take my booty. The booty is mine. Uh -huh. It belongs to me. You That's cannot you take hate. my booty. I mean, I wake up in the morning and I think I could have been the president. I wish things would have been different. I mean, I'd do anything in the world just for things to be different. I guess I'm just going to be raping niggas' asses for the rest of my life. Yeah, are you okay? Yes, <laughs> I'm okay. For the first time in a long time, I'm okay. Of course you okay. You ran. I can't believe this is supposed to scare me. A prison full of bitch-ass niggas. The convicts is bitch-ass niggas. All they did was vote. The COs was bitch-ass niggas because they just fell over. And time you was a bitch-ass nigga too because all you did was run. They wouldn't know what to do with a real nigga like me up in here. Lucky for them, I'm a little kid so they can't put me in a real jail. They got to put me in a jail for life. Real nigga little kid. <laughs> That's not possible. Unfortunate. The freedom to surf the internet for pornography of your choice. Not the porn. This team 
is pathetic. They don't stand a chance against the Chinese. Not one single goddamn shot in hell. It'll be an embarrassment they'll never, ever live down for the rest of their miserable lives until they die. You know what one of these balls can do to a human body? They'll get torn to pieces, ripped to shreds. Some may even lose control of their bowels. By the third inning, they'll be pissing and shitting on themselves, right in front of their friends and loved ones. It's going to be flat-out fucking terrible. We must find some better athletes. This is what you got. These two titans of the game face off against one another. Let's go, Huey! Show them what's good, Huey! Huey looks absolutely determined out there, folks. No. Oh! Hello and goodbye. And that one is out of here. Not a good start for Freeman. You suck, Huey! You worthless motherfucker! Well, we're Americans. We don't quit just because we're wrong. We just keep doing the wrong thing until it turns out right. Tragically, we just received word that the ref strangled himself, jumped off a bridge, then overdosed on amphetamines. Oh. Send my condolences to his family. Hey dog, first off I want to say that I'm a huge fan of Thug Nifson. I grew up listening to Thug Nifson. Matter of fact, I'd even go ahead as far to say that I love this nigga, no homo. He is one of the real niggas that made me want to do this shit. But fuck this old ass nigga, man. <laughs> this old nigga is old enough to be my dad. Did he tell me to eat a dick? Nigga, what's wrong with you? You a grown ass man and you telling a 15 year old to eat a dick? I know your mother raised you better than that, dog. <laughs> Matter of fact, excuse me, is this Miss Jenkins? Yes, it is. My name is Sergeant Gutter. And I don't know if you aware, but your son said some very rude things about me on the radio. Yes, I know. He said some very rude things. He's too old to be acting like that. And I know I don't like to use that language either. You know, I have one time. I... That was your mama, nigga. Your mama. Grow your old ass up, nigga. I hope you go broke, you feel me? I hope that the IRS is on their way over right now to take your shit, nigga. It's all night, bro. Just make sure it got a little complexion. Better for the great farming serving in the smoke section. I'll show you how to cook that. Show you how to bake crack. Show you how to hit that block to make trap. We all knew it was gonna come to this. Yo, is that what I think it is? What's wrong? You ain't never seen no yayo, -yo, nigga? Yes. I'm just trying to figure out what this is. That's real cocaine, nigga. Hmm. Where'd you get it? They don't worry about where I got it. I got my connects. <laughs> hey, the third. Dumb shit, though, man. Because Steve's a little crazy. No, he better not be trying no dumb shit. Because I'm a little crazy. My heart was beating off fast. It turns out that you're going to give me money for a record deal. I want my money. I got this whole new sound I've been working on, too. I really want you to hear it. It's crazy. This is going to make everything in your life better. And nothing anyone can do is going to stop it. Nothing. I want my motherfucking money. Ed, what are you doing? Who cares about drugs? Steve, I'm really sorry, man. <laughs> what is this? a joke. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am, motherfucker? I'm Ed Once. I bought the drugs all the way over here. I did what I was supposed to do. I fulfilled my motherfucking end of the bargain, and I want my goddamn money! Hold up, that's so fast, you fat motherfucker. You like the new job. Oh, man, it's some old bullshit. But check it, check it, check it. Your boy is shooting his own reality show. What? Yeah, nigga. First was the controversial Reverend Jeremiah Wright. I say motherfucker America, motherfucker America's mother, motherfucker America's daddy, America can eat a dick, America can lick the bones! When that failed... I'm retired. So then, now that it looks like Obama is going to win, as a black African-American Negro, are you merely excited, or are you extremely excited that everything is going to change forever? Eh. I felt my sphincter clinch and my scrotum contract in shock at his response. I swear to so, if the election is fake, then what's really going on? The end of America. I felt despair so terrible, I briefly consider slitting my own wrists or bludgeoning myself about the head with a steel pipe or baseball bat. But I brought no blade, no pipe, no bat. Describe Riley Freeman in one word. Mm, I say 
Real nigga. Real nigga is two words. I know it's two words, nigga. Real niggas don't follow instructions. If my nigga Obama gets up in there, I'm going to act up, fool. I ain't doing no more homework, nothing. We taking over. Come on, what's the cop going to do to me? I'm going to be like, don't make me call the president, bitch. And the cops, he going to be like, oh, snap. Riley, a real nigga. The president's a real nigga. We can't do nothing. <laughs> I can't wait. Hope is irrational. In Bavaria, we have a saying, der Junge ist ja total bedient. It means, this is the most depressing fucking kid I've ever met in my life. So, you know who Obama is now? Oh, no, I knew who the nigga was. I was just joking. You were not joking. You jumped on the Obama celebrity bandwagon because it will give you much needed exposure. No, see, it ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? I started looking into his political positions and his, and his, and his policies and views and whatnot. What policies? Well, you know, I heard the nigga speak, right? And I, he was talking about changing some shit or uh, hoping for some shit. And I thought, yeah, I mean, you know, all niggas asking for is hope. You can sit on your ass all day and hope. If you're too lazy to hope, you's a lazy motherfucker. That's all I know. I'm voting for Obama because he's going to lower my taxes. Actually, he has promised to raise taxes at your income level. Huh? And he's just really, really fit to lead. And also body fit, too. Well, I also support Obama because he's against corporate bailouts. That is also not true. Huh? I'm supporting Obama because he's black. And he's going to get the troops out of Afghanistan, right? Also wrong. Well, then what the fuck that nigga going to do? I mean, we all need to, you know, do some shit sometime. You know what I'm saying? Some shit needs to get done. And until we do that shit, shit ain't going to change. So I thought to myself, let's do this shit. And that's when Will I Am called me about doing this damn song. Yo, 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 yo. I heard the presidential limo is gonna be like a crazy pimped out Cadillac now with rims and like machine guns and lasers. From now on, I'm calling all my niggas Obamas. And all my bitches, I'm calling Michelle's. I mean, think about it. If you was a bitch, right, would you rather be called a bitch or Michelle? And what about bitches named Michelle? Man, you make a joke. I'm trying to uplift my Obamas. Aren't you excited, little man? Eh. Eh. What's and supposed to mean? Just means eh. Yo, what the deal, man? Yo, what's yo, going yo, on what's here? Up, man? Yo, what's I asked this kid if he was excited about Obama, and he said eh. Eh? He said eh? Yeah, what's wrong with you? You're not excited? Not excited? Who ain't excited? This little nigga right here. Why ain't he excited? So you don't like Obama. You want McCain to win. I never said that. Why ain't you like Barack Obama? He got a lovely family. Not according to this little nigga. He got a problem with a black president. Boy, what's going on? What did I tell you about talking to anybody about anything? I didn't say anything. How do you feel being teamed up with your arch enemy? First of all, we're not a team. Second of all, we're not a team. I've got gas money. He's got the license. You saved a man's life. They don't win until you give up. They don't win until you stop fighting. You can't fight the future. Don't waste your life trying. Boy, that you're okay. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. Back off. Everyone stay back or he dies. Help! Somebody shoot this motherfucker. You can't do this to me. Let me go. You know who I am? Hey, daddy! What are you waiting for? Shoot him. Easy. Hey, daddy! Man, we might have to think about moving. This neighborhood ain't what it used to be. Oh, man, we saw you on the news with all the Marines pointing guns at you. And you was looking hard, too. You was like, what? What? Man, Huey, you were really right this time. You said it was going to happen, and it happened. Imagine all the problems we could avoid if we ever started listening to you. Oh, 